Well, one of the important capabilities of the reader is you can uh, synchronize all of the news from nytimes.com and then read it offline. And so AIR allows us to do that. It also has some great uh, rendering capability to flow the text and make it look a lot like uh, our printed newspaper. Uh, we're really designing the product to appeal to uh, the, the newspaper reader. So one of the things we, we've, we've um, really strived for in the design of Times Reader is to preserve the editorial judgments that go into making the newspaper. A lot of thought goes into uh, the story selection, the photo selection for our, our section fronts. And uh, on the website, that gets changed continually throughout the day because it's a, a, a basically a flow of ongoing news. So for the reader who wants to see what was in the Times that day, it's a really a wonderful presentation on the screen that really preserves uh, those editorial judgments. That's one of the things that uh, differentiates it from the website. Another thing that we tried to introduce more of, and it's very hard to do in a digital space, is introduce more serendipity. So there's a very cool browse feature um, that kind of lets you fly over the pages within Times Reader and gives you a sense of what's available. And again, it's kind of a equivalent to scanning the, the pages and finding a story that you didn't expect uh, to be interested in and then finding yourself becoming engrossed in it. Um, we really wanted to create an environment that was uh, a serene and quiet and lets the content really really draw you in uh, to that newspaper reading experience. Um, one of the reasons we've invested in this kind of uh, online reading is that there are so many new screens hitting the market. Uh, the explosion of netbooks, that are uh, many of them sold with Linux are, are very important uh, for us to consider. We don't know what screens consumers will end up wanting, so we want to be on as many of them as possible. We're very proud of the work we're doing uh, with Kindle and getting uh, the Times to look great on that platform. But netbooks, um, uh, the, the mobile apps we're investing in, we're not sure what customers are going to want, but we want to make sure that the Times looks great on all of them. So one of the things that's important about Times Reader is it reflows. Uh, to, to adjust for your screen size. And um, it means that we're sort of maximizing the design for whatever screen you might have bought to meet your needs. And uh, it allows us to build it once and deploy it across three operating systems with as many different screens as, uh, as are out there. It's the same video that we uh, use on the website. It's just presented inside the experience of Times Reader. I mean, what we were trying to achieve with Times Reader is, um, you know, that kind of ex that experience where uh, y you sit down and for a period of time you have a kind of pristine environment where you want to read the paper for an extended period of time. Um, many of us are familiar with that, just with the physical paper, going through it on Sunday and dropping sections on the ground after we finish it. Times Reader seeks to create that. Yeah, the crossword's in, embedded into the application and allows you to, to, to play it. There's a free puzzle, a uh, classic puzzle, that's offered to everybody. Um, but to get each day's puzzle, you will need to be a subscriber of Times Reader. Um, and yes, you have that ability to, uh, to uh, solve it immediately if you want. What we see uh, with Times Reader, which we're um, um, uh, uh, hopeful bodes well in the future for advertising, is that uh, our readers really spend a lot of time with it. Um, you know, in print, um, on average, we, we, we think that our readers spend about 40 minutes a day. On the website, it's a much, much bigger audience. The average time spent is about 30 minutes a month. In Times Reader, the metrics look more like print. People spend um, several minutes each day within it reading the paper. Um, so we're happy about that. So four sections are free to everybody. Anybody can try it, download it. Uh, you get the front page, you get latest news flowing in every five minutes, the business section, and our most emailed stories, which uh, provides a, a sense of, um, uh, of what our web audience finds uh, interesting and useful. And um, uh, you can see the section fronts from all of the other sections, but you'll need to um, uh, buy a subscription to Times Reader, which is about $3.45 a week, um, to unlock content for all the other sections. Of course, if you're a home delivery subscriber, you get it for free.